Chocolate chip cookies are a favorite in my house. Let's make a much healthier version today. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where every week we get together in the kitchen, we create delicious and healthy recipes using real food and real supplements. Today, we're going to be making Paleo Chocolate Chunk Cookies. Let's begin by adding one cup of almond flour to a small mixing bowl. Next, I have one quarter of a cup of fiber-rich coconut flour. So coconut flour is a thirsty flour in that it requires more moisture to be added to recipes when you're using it because it just likes to soak it all up. Coconut flour is not a one-to-one -one replacement for other gluten-free flours and I really like using it just because of its high fiber content. One tablespoon of ground up flaxseed. This is going to be our egg replacement when it's mixed in with the rest of the wet ingredients. Last I have one half of a teaspoon of baking soda. Whisk together these ingredients and then set them aside. In a large mixing bowl, add in one half of a cup of your preferred granulated sweetener. So coconut sugar, date sugar, urethritol, Lacanto, they're all great options. One quarter of a cup of melted coconut oil, which can be substituted with melted ghee, melted butter, or even avocado oil would work really great. One quarter of a cup of unsweetened nut, oat, or hemp milk. For some flavor, I have one teaspoon of almond extract, or you could use vanilla extract. Whisk together these ingredients and then add your flour mixture to your oil mixture and stir together. Add in two ounces of a chopped up dark chocolate bar or dark chocolate chips and one quarter of a cup of chopped up walnuts. Fold together. Scoop your dough onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm using a one and a half tablespoon size scooper. And then with damp hands, shape your cookies into the desired shape. You can also add just a few coarse salt rocks onto each cookie. And then bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 11 minutes or until the edges begin to lightly brown. Be sure to let your cookies cool on a cooling rack so that they don't fall apart on you. It is the moment of truth. It is time to give these cookies a taste. So if you're using the chocolate bar, obviously you're going to get bigger chunks of the chocolate, whereas using the um, chocolate chips, it'll just be smaller pieces. No big deal, do whatever you want to do. You can also add in more chocolate if you want to. I like less. So that's what I did. You could also add in some raisins or cranberries. You could omit the walnuts completely if you want to. Always get really creative with these recipes. Make them work for you and what works for your body. So with no further ado, let's give one a taste. Mmm, that is some chewy, chocolatey deliciousness. Those are perfect. I love that little bit of salt on top, but not necessary. I used the almond extract, that gives it a little bit of a different flavor. So if you use vanilla, awesome. I don't think you can go wrong with these. I hope you give them a try. They're so much better for you than what you would find in your grocery store. We love hearing from you, so if you have some feedback about these cookies, if you make them, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Have an amazing week, make healthy choices, and I'll see you next week in the kitchen.